Hi, welcome to the part 16 of this video series. We are covering important exam questions for AZ304 certifications. Please subscribe to my channel for questions 1 to 100. Please refer parts 1 to 15 of this video series. Now let's jump to the questions. First try to understand the story and then decode the keywords. So this is a story. There is a data center on premises and there are uh, 30 virtual machines these 30 virtual machines run windows 2012 and each machine has a different workload so one more keyword i would like to identify is the consumption patterns are predictable that means whenever you see you can predict the loads it means that you can plan for your vms how many vms you would need you can plan for your compute resources you would not need to put auto scaling on because it is predictable and you know that in the month of december for christmas the sales will go and touch this peak you already have that data point now all these 30 virtual machines will be put on Azure. So it will become Azure virtual machine and which will again run same windows. So whenever you see uh, windows here, windows here, that means if you're using hybrid, hybrid benefit, we can save money because otherwise these licenses would get wasted. So the question is, you want a solution to minimize the compute costs let's go to this options uh, please remember you want to identify two recommendations we want two answers here first one says configure a spending limit in the account center so if you put a spending limit then the compute resources like what happens if the spending limit is crossed spending limit is not a way of minimizing the compute costs it is a way of controlling the compute costs that means like if uh, if you you are eating food in a month for say five hundred dollars and someone says that uh, you should minimize that cost that means instead of 500 you try if you can manage your food expenses in 400 dollars or 450 dollars that means that maybe once a month you may try not to go outside to eat or you might eat um, more veggies instead of non-veg but spending limit when you configure that means that even if you want uh, food beyond five hundred dollars you cannot eat that so suppose you have exhausted those five hundred dollars in 25 days so the rest five days you go hungry and minimizing the compute cost is like you manage those 30 days by minimizing or optimizing your food consumption let's see option b so option b here uh, talks about auto scaling which is not needed here because like i explained the consumption pattern you can predict it since you can predict it auto scaling is not required if you can predict it you will uh, suppose you can predict that i need 10 virtual machines then you would plan for 10 virtual machines you would not put auto scaling on that you start with three virtual machines and then scale up to 10 you know the pattern so that may not auto scaling may not help you with your costs compute costs now hybrid benefit so this here you know you save a lot on the virtual machine licensing costs because you are inheriting what is there on-prem you already have 
Windows Server 2012 and you are just upgrading it to Windows Server 2016 but you can leverage hybrid benefit to save costs these costs so C is one answer now option D uh, it's, it suggests to use reserved virtual machine so this will give you a lot of cost benefits compared to on demand because you know the consumption pattern it is predictable so you can go for a reserved virtual machine say you know that the consumption pattern is for 10 virtual machines you book 10 virtual machine in a reserved manner and you can get 30 to 40 percent of cost gains or cost benefits so we got our two answers let's also see option e create a lab in dev test labs and place the virtual machines in the lab this is not required see one advantage of dev test lab is that you can shut it down when you don't need it and save costs but this system uh, when it is not mentioned what purpose it is used for we should assume that this is a production system and when you have a production scale system dev test labs will not help dev test lab is used by developers and testing teams if they want to try some new resources or combination of new resources to establish some workflow you can try it out with minimum compute costs you can shut the uh, vms so that you save the cost at night when you go to sleep and in the morning again you bring it up and do your development and testing work but in a production system this will not work so we will lock uh, option c and d as our final answers so now let's look at next question so in this question you have an azure subscription that contains a sql database and several queries that query the data in the db take long time to execute so simple uh, you need to identify the queries that take longest to execute so out of these options let us scan through the options database advisor so advisor provides performance recommendations it does not give long running queries monitor collects data on logs it does not give you long running queries there is no service called performance recommendations this leaves us with option d which is the answer this helps you identify top resource consuming and long running queries we will lock this answer and move forward you need to generate monthly report of all arm resources deployed so arm is infrastructure as code if you have a vm and sql server and azure synapse analytics suppose these three resources and you, you create a arm template to deploy then there is a monthly report that they need which will tell what was deployed on what date so what should you include in the recommendation option a change tracking management solution some sort of change tracking is done in azure automation but here it is of no use this there is no service called change tracking management so a is wrong application insights use to monitor live applications here there is no live application mentioned so b is wrong monitor action groups these are notification preferences for example you want to notify through email sms or phone call this does not suffice this use case c is wrong this leaves us with option d this is the answer activity log is used anything any resource you create uh, it is creating an activity in the activity log you drop a resource update a resource delete a resource change the configuration everything is an activity which is there in the activity log we will log this answer and move forward 